South Africa vs West Indies, 3rd D20 Highlights South Africa have won the toss and have opted to field. Brandon King and Myers are at the crease. Brandon King is on strike. 4-2 and will open the attack. 1.2. Parnell to Myers. 6. First 6 of the match. 131 km per hour. Myers stands tall and thumps this short of length ball outside off over long off. Good swing of the bat and excellent contact. 1.4. Parnell to Myers. 6. 131 km per hour. Full again from Parnell. Myers slightly backs away and brings his wrists into play. Whip flicks it over cow corner and it came right off the sweet spot. 2.2. Ngidi to Brandon King. 6. 138 km per hour. That's a hit me delivery from Ngidi. Full and angled and on the pads, King puts it away with ease. A big back lift and that's been flicked aerially over deep backward square leg. 2.3. Ngidi to Brandon King. 6. Back to back sixes. 134 km per hour. Ngidi goes wider outside off on this occasion. Brandon King shuffles across, gets low and flogs it over deep mid-wicket. That's a biggie, 96 meter 6. 2.4. Ngidi to Brandon King, 4, 115 km per hour, slower delivery, low full toss that dips on the batter, King didn't pick it early but he manages to swipe it over mid-wicket. Ngidi has his hands on head. 2.5. Ngidi to Myers, 4, 4 off the free hit. Ngidi misses the Yorker and bowls a low full toss wide outside off. Myers reaches out for it after clearing his front leg and chips it over the covers. 3.2. Rabata to Myers, out by old. Rabata strikes. 135 km per hour, short of a good length ball, shapes in a touch, Myers clears his front leg to honk it across the line. Gets beaten on the inside edge and the ball hits the top of off. 3.3. Rabata to Charles, out by old. Century in the previous game, Golden Duck today. 136 km per hour. Short of length ball that seems in, Charles stays in his crease and pushes at it with no feet movement. Gets an inside edge that deflects onto his stumps. 3.4. Rabada to Poron. 4. Boundary off the hat trick ball. Fuller ball from Rabada and Poron leans across to push drive through extra cover. Teasing chase for the fielder running back from cover, ball wins the race. Poron off the mark with a boundary. 3.6. Rabada to Poron. 4. Full delivery. Straighter line and that's been flicked away by Poron through mid-wicket for 4. End of an eventful over from Rabata. 4.3, Norkia to Poron, 6, 142 km per hour, poor line from Norkia. Leg line ball, just below Wasit high and it's easy pickings for Poron. Flicked hard and high over fine leg. 5.1, Rabata to Brandon King, 4, 143 km per hour, full delivery on the pads. King flicks and gets an inside edge that eludes the diving to cock to his left. Runs away fine to the fine leg fence. 6.2, 42 into Poron. 6, 93 km per hour, quicker delivery and Poron slams the pull over deep mid wicket. Swiveled across and muscle. 6.3, 42 into Poron. 6, 89 km per hour, even bigger. 42 and bowls it on the shorter side, Poron is quick to pounce. Pulled ferociously up and over deep square leg. 6.5, 42 into Poron. 6, 76 km per hour. Flighted delivery. Poron brings out the reverse sweep. Excellent contact and that's been deposited into the mid wicket stands. 7.6, Parnell to Brandon King. 4, swatted away for 4. 117 km per hour. Off pace ball from a short of length. King stays back and pulls just in front of square on the leg side. Deep mid-wicket runs across and dives to his right but to no avail. The boundary brings up the 50 partnership. 8.2. Norkia to Brandon King. 4. Skitty short of length ball around off. Brandon King manages to pull it away. Swivels and sends it over mid-wicket for a one bounce for. 8.3. Norkia to Brandon King. Out by old. Norkia has his revenge. 145 km per hour. Brandon King shuffles across early and exposes his sticks. Norkia bowls the Yorker and the leg stump has been uprooted. Aeroplane celebration from Norkia. 8.4. Norkia to Powell. 4. 147 km per hour. Yorker length. Powell looks to flick and gets an outside edge that goes through vacant first slip before speeding away to third man for 4. 9.2. Markram to Powell. 6. 88 km per hour. Powell waltzes down the track and swings his willow hard to slog it over deep mid wicket. 9.3. Markram to Powell. Out by old. Markram roars back in style. Quicker one at 100 km per hour, Powell sees the length on the shorter side and rocks back to pummel it over mid-wicket. 
misses it all together and the ball beats the inside edge before crashing into the leg stump. Markram wins the battle of the captains. West Indies lose their fourth wicket. 10.2. Ngidi to Puran, out caught by Decock. Edged and taken. 136 km per hour, length ball from round the wicket, straightens a bit off the deck. Puran stays in his crease to force it through the offside and gets a faint outside edge. Quinton de Kock pouches it in front of his face. 11.4. Markram to R. Reifer. 4. 94 km per hour, shorter and wider. Reifer waits on the back foot to slap the cut through extra cover. 11.5. Markram to R. Reifer. 6. 81 km per hour, full and over pitched. Reifer backs away, gets under it and thumps it over long off. Hendricks times his jump correctly but that's just out of his reach. 12.2. Norkia to Holder. 6. 142 km per hour, into the orbit and into the stands. Length ball, a backing away holder swings it over mid wicket. One a long way up in the air and it had the wings to go all the way to. 12.6. Norkia to holder, out caught by Miller. Gone. 137 km per hour, in angling short ball, holder clears his front leg to pull and the bat turns at the point of impact. Even the bottom hand comes off the bat handle. Miller, at long off. Barely had to move to gobble that up. 14.1. And Giedi to Rust and Chase, 4, 139 km per hour, pitched up and Chase drives it straight of mid off. No one stopping that. 14.2. And Giedi to Rust and Chase, out caught by Clausen. And Giedi roars in delight as he bounces out Chase. 138 km per hour, banged and short and Chase looks to pull. Hits him high on the bat as he's cramped for room and the ball balloons up in the air. A dolly for Clausen at short mid wicket. 15.2. Robata to R. Reifer. 6. 138 km per hour. Reifer goes downtown and it's 6. Fuller than good length. Reifer stays leg side of the ball and decides to tonk it straight down the ground. Comes off the inner part of the bat but the ball has the wings to sail over the long on fielder who had moved to his right. 15.4. Robata to Shepard. Out R. Reifer run out. Mix up. Direct hit and out. 138 km per hour. Extra bounce from a length. A squared up shepherd taps it towards mid wicket off the inner edge. A yes no situation and Reifer was always halfway down. Does turn around and tries his best but can't get back in time. Superb stuff from Miller. He ran, collected the ball and fired in an underarm throw despite being off balance before hitting the bullseye at the bowler's end. 17.6. Ngidi to Alzari Joseph, 4, 123 km per hour, off pace ball outside off from a back of a length. Alzari Joseph stands tall and has ample time to slap it over mid-off. The boundary spoils the over. 18.2. Parnell to Shepard. 4. 128 km per hour. Low full toss outside off. Shepard reaches out and slices it over extra cover. He made good contact even though the bottom hand came off the bat handle. 18.4. Parnell to Alzari Joseph. 6. 129 km per hour. Length ball. Joseph swings hard and dispatches it over cow corner. High and handsome for a 93 meter 6. 19.2. Rabata to Shepard. 6. 141 km per hour. Rabata misses his Yorker. It's a low full toss and Shepard hoists it over long on. 19.3. Rabata to Shepard. 4. Rabata drops it short and Shepard hammers the pull over mid wicket for a one bounce 4. 19.4. Rabata to Shepard. 6. Another 6. Brings up the 50 partnership for the ninth wicket. Slower ball from Rabata on a shortish length. Shepard is early to pull but the ball still has the wings to all the way over long leg. 19.5. Robotta to Shepard. 6. Wow. No follow through and Shepard poses for the photographs. Full and in the slot, Shepard offers a vertical bat to pump it over straight long on. 93 meters 6. 26 runs off the final over and West Indies finish on 220. Decock and R. Hendricks are at the crease. Decock is on strike. Control will open the attack. 1.3. Roston chase to R. Hendricks. 4. Flatter delivery, Hendricks punches the ball through the offside for a 4. That was hit on the up and into the gap. 2.2. Cottrell to DeCock, 4. Just uses the pace on the ball. That was short, outside off, DeCock stabs it down behind square on the offside for a 4. Timed it really well. 2.6. Cottrell to R. Hendricks, 4. Drilled. Stayed still. Waited on the fuller delivery, Hendricks slaps it past cover for a 4. That was timed and placed really well. 3.1. Roston chase to Decock. 4. Tossed up delivery. Decock swings it across the line for a 4. They had to tee off, doing it now. That was angled onto the pads and flayed away for a 4. 3.2. Roston chase to Decock. 
4. Fuller length delivery outside off, to cocktails that passed cover. That was hit well as he managed to get under it. Was a quickish delivery by the bowler and DeCock stayed still to put that away. 3.4. Rostin chased to DeCock. 4. QDK is relishing this quick deliveries. Was a low full toss, DeCock drove it past cover and the man in the deep managed to get in the dive. But the ball was pushed away to the fence as he pushed that too far away from him to recover in time. 4.2. Alzari Joseph to DeCock, out caught by Rostin Chase. Aljo gets the big fish. That was short, outside off. There was the room and DeCock tried to upper slash it. Never kept it down but failed to get it over the deep point fielder. That was banged and short and the effort ball has done the job. 4.3 Alzari Joseph to Rousseau. 4. Wow. That's some ignition to an innings. Was short, outside off. Rousseau threw his hands at it and the ball landed just short of the deep cover fence. 4.4 Alzari Joseph to Rousseau. 6. Pure timing. Alzari Joseph is overdoing the short stuff outside off. That was angled across, Rousseau stayed back and slashed it over point. He is looking good. 4.5 Alzari Joseph to Rousseau, 4, ho ho ho. This is sheer class. High elbow, slight lean into the stride and Rousseau drove it through the covers for a 4. Was a length delivery from Alzari Joseph and put away. 5.1 Rostin chase to R. Hendricks, 4, tossed up delivery, outside off, Hendricks lifts that over cover for a 4. Open the bat face on impact to put it away. 5.2 Rostin chase to R. Hendricks, 4. Fortune favors Risa. Dances down, gets too close and ends up jamming it down to fine leg for a 4. That came off the cue end. 5.6 Rostin chase to Rousseau, 4. Goes down on his knees, uses the pace on the ball and sweeps it onto the outside for a 4. Good end to the PP as it started off slowly but has finished on a high thanks to Rousseau. 6.4 Control to Rousseau, 4. Fuller length delivery, Rousseau clips it fine and the man at short fine fails to stop it with a dive. That was played away fine and into the gap. 6.6, .6. control to R. Hendricks, 4, fuller ball, outside off, Hendricks slaps it over cover for a 4. That was drilled hard and went quickly to the fence. 7.2, holder to R. Hendricks, 4, top edge. That was banged and short, R. Hendricks went for the pull and got a top edge. The ball got big on him and he couldn't control it. The ball just evaded the man at deep square who ran to his right to fetch that. 8.5. Shepard to R. Hendricks, 4. Slower. Short ball. Outside off. R. Hendricks slashes it past short third man for a 4. The man in the deep put in the dive but failed to stop it. 9.3. Alzari Joseph to Rousseau, 6. That's massive. Length delivery on the pads. Rousseau picks it up off the pads and sends it over deep backward for a 6er. Superb hit indeed. 10.2. Holder to Rousseau, 6. Full toss and biffed down the ground for a sixer. Was a low full toss and put away with Elon. Was a superbly timed hit. 10.5. Holder to Rousseau, out caught by Charles. The short ball does it for Holder. Was banged in short, Rousseau looked to pull, gets a top edge and it ballooned up in the air for the keeper to grab it. Easy take for the keeper above his head. Holder let out a huge roar. Big wicket indeed. 11.3. Rostin chase to Miller. 4. Swung across the line and it has landed just short. That was a full toss well outside off. The batter moved across and slammed it well away from the man at long on. 12.2 Shepard to R. Hendricks, 6, length delivery and swatted across the line for a sixer. 50 for Hendricks. That was flogged across the line with a lot of power. 12.5 Shepard to R. Hendricks, 4, low full toss, Hendricks walks across, sweeps that passes short fine for a 4. Was well timed and placed. 13.4. Holder to R. Hendricks, 4. He is timing them like a dream. On drive. Little fuller. Hendricks check drives it down the ground for a 4. 14.2. Alzari Joseph to Miller. Out caught by Cottrell. That's a huge strike. Third one down. Fuller ball. Miller lofts it down the ground and finds the man at long on. That was hit on the up but couldn't get it over the long on fielder. Simple take in the end. 14.4 Alzari Joseph to R. Hendricks, 4, and 4 more. Hendricks continues his good run. Fuller 1, outside off, Hendricks just sliced it. Focused on timing it and the ball went to the fence on a couple of bounces. 16.1 Holder to R. Hendricks, 4, 55 needed now walks across to a fuller ball, outside off, squeezes it between short third and point for a 4. 17.4 Shepard to R. Hendricks, 6 and that's just over. Was a banged and short ball, Hendricks went for the pull and got it away from deep square for a sixer. 
was well hit, 17.6, Shepard to Markram, 4, and Myers drops Markram, that was flayed down the ground and Myers at long off got hold of it. But then as he thought he would trip over the fence, he ended up dropping the ball inside the fence. The ball dribbled over the fence, 18.1, Alzari Joseph to R. Hendricks, out caught by Powell. The slower full toss is it. End of a good knock from Hendricks. That was dipping outside off and Hendricks slammed across the line but ended up finding the man at long on. Huge wicket indeed. He was forced to drag it away and the man at long on couldn't afford a mistake and he didn't. 18.2 Alzari Joseph to Claussen, 6, and flogged across the line for a sixer. Huge hit indeed. First ball and a maximum from Claussen as he slogged it with a plum off a length ball. 18.3 Alzari Joseph to Claussen, out caught by Cottrell. Looked to drag it across the line and got a fat top edge. The man at short third circled under it and took it well. The batter walked across, looked to flog it across the line but got a top edge. The man at short third, Cottrell, took a very smart catch. 18.5 Alzari Joseph to Parnell, out by old. Aljo has a fifer. That was a length delivery, Parnell goes for a slog across the line and misses it to be clean bold. You miss and I hit couldn't have had a better example. That was at the sticks and Parnell missed the line. 19.2 R. Reifer to Markram, 4, Fuller ball, drilled away and passed cover for a 4. 20 needed now. Windy's got 26 off their last over. That was blasted away by Markram. 19.3 R. Reifer to Markram, 2 runs, that was slogged across the line and the man at deep mid fails to stop the second. They took the second on the throw. Poor from the fielder in the deep. Was a low full toss and Markram failed to time it. 18 needed off 3 balls, 19.4, R. Reifer to Markram, 2 runs, and that should be it. Was a very full ball, Markram heaves it down to deep mid for a couple only. Powell does a celebratory jig, 19.5, R. Reifer to Markram, 4, drills a fuller ball and slams it down the ground for a 4. 12 still needed. Only a ball to go, 19.6, R. Reifer to Markram, 4, flogged across the line and 4 more. But that doesn't matter. That escaped to the deep mid fence. But Windies win this by 7 runs.